Good morning and welcome. You're watching News Blitz on CNN News 18. I am Aisha Varma. In this show, we'll be taking you through both national and international stories that are making headlines. The NDA has picked Jagdeep Dhankar as the vice presidential candidate with a public service career spanning three decades. Jagdeep Dhankar currently serves as the governor of Bengal, a post that he has held since 2019. He has been dubbed by the BJP as Kisan Putra and the People's Governor. सभी नामों पर गौर करने के बाद हम सब लोग और भारतीय जनता पार्टी की संसदीय बोर्ड इस निष्कर्ष पर पहुंची है कि उपराष्ट्रपति पद के लिए भारतीय जनता पार्टी और एनडीए के प्रत्याशी के रूप में हमारे किसान पुत्र श्री जगदीप धनकर जी को हम उपराष्ट्रपति पद के लिए अपना प्रत्याशी के रूप में घोषित करते हैं धनकर जी को हार्दिक बधाई और साथ ही में भारतीय जनता पार्टी को बधाई बहुत अच्छा निर्णय है और जो वस्तु स्थिति है उसको ध्यान में रखते हुए और खास तौर पे राजस्थान का नेतृत्व कर रहे हूँ करेंगे वो राज्यसभा में तो कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल पोस्ट पे राजस्थान के किसी व्यक्ति को बिठाना अपने आप में बहुत बड़े सम्मान का विषय है Bihar Chief Minister Nidish Kumar has extended the JDU support to the NDA's vice presidential candidate Jagdeep Dhankar. The BJP named West Bengal Governor Jagdeep Dhankar, a Jat leader from Rajasthan, as the ruling NDA's vice, <coughs> vice presidential candidate on Saturday evening. Union Law Minister Kiran Rajiju has said that the central government will remove 71 obsolete laws in the upcoming monsoon session of the parliament. The government has so far identified 1,824 of these laws. The Patna police digs deep into the Bihar terror plot and has further cracked a whip on the PFI radicalization and the involvement of the Ghazwa e Hind in the case. As many as five people have been arrested and a special investigation team is conducting raids in different districts of Bihar. The Bihar police have gotten a 48 hour remand of accused Arman Malik, who is a key link in the case, and Atahar Pervez. Their links are now we have established that it is transnational. It is technical information. We are verifying that information on the ground and we are doing rates. The zeroing is also going on. And we are confident that we are doing a special SIT work on it. We will be able to get rid of more people in the future. We will be able to get rid of the police remand for our police. बहुत ही विशेषीकृत टीम बनाई गई है और जो जैसे जैसे हमारे पास उनके जवाब मिलेंगे उसको वेरीफाई करने के लिए ग्राउंड पर हमारी स्पेशल टीम्स अलग अलग डिस्ट्रिक्स में और अलग स्टेट्स में कैंप किए हैं India and China are set to hold the 16th round of Corps Commander Talks at Moldo today. The talks will begin at 9.30 a.m. on the Indian side at Trishul Moldo meeting point. The 16th round of talks comes as part of efforts by both of the nations to take forward the stalled process of disengagement and de-escalation in eastern Ladakh. While some states are witnessing a rainfall deficit, Gujarat has not seen sun for nearly 17 days. The water level in the Tapi River has already crossed the critical mark in Surat. Meanwhile, several areas in the Navsari district remain inundated. 132 teams in Navsari have reached, have reached the area for a survey, while the NDRF continues its rescue operations in the area. Amid heavy rainfall in Kerala, the shutters of the Malampuram district in Palakkad district were opened yesterday. Four shutters, which are 30 centimeters each, were opened and water logging was reported in some areas. People on the banks of the area were, have been asked to stay vigilant. Chief Justice of India, N.V. Ramana, on a Saturday called for steps to address the grave issue of the high number of under-trial prisoners that is affecting the criminal justice system. N.V. Ramana said that there is a need to question procedures that lead to prolonged incarceration without any trial. Out of 6 lakh prisoners in the country, nearly 80% are under-trial prisoners and lamented that in the criminal justice system, the process is a punishment. 
in Uttar Pradesh court has rejected the bail petition of Alt News co-founder Mohammed Zubair in connection with an FIR lodged against him in 2021 for allegedly promoting enmity. Earlier on Friday, Delhi's Patiala House Court granted him bail in a case related to an allegedly objectionable tweet. Chhattisgarh Minister T.S. Singh Deo on Saturday resigned from the Panchayat and Rural Development Department in a four-page resignation letter to the Chief Minister. Singh Deo cited various reasons, stating that he was unable to fulfill the targets of the department as per the vision of the Jan Ghoshna Patra. Shiv Sena MP Sanjay Raut hit out at Maharashtra Chief Minister Eknath Shinde and Deputy Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis over a delay in cabinet expansion. Sanjay Raut further added that his government is illegal and this faction doesn't have the power to rewrite history. Raut also demanded that President's rule be imposed in Maharashtra. A Pakistani drone was spotted in the Manguchak area of Samba International Border. It was flying from Chachwal to Manguchak. This is the area in Samba that it was seen. Now, the drone was spotted for around 15 minutes at a height of 300 meters. Security forces to launch will be launching searches in the area today. Another fresh controversy has erupted in West Bengal where posters are calling Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee an anti-tribal community have been put up by the BJP. The poster also shows the NDA's presidential candidate uh, Draupadi Murmu and Prime Minister Narendra Modi. The TMC leader Sukhendu Shekhar Roy in an address called, for, called out the BJP for misleading people by spreading falsehoods. <laughs> A goods carrier met with an accident on its way to Katra from Vaishno Devi Bhavan. Six people working on the track got minor injuries, however, no pilgrims were injured in the mishap. As per the initial inquiry, the vehicle collided with the pole due to brake failure. The injured were immediately taken to the nearest dispensary for the treatment. The Bihar police have arrested a lawyer from Uttar Pradesh's Lucknow in connection to the Bihar terror conspiracy. The lawyer, who hails from Dharbhanga, was nabbed with the help of the Uttar Pradesh police. The lawyer was hiding in Lucknow and has been taken back to Bihar. And special teams have been constituted to probe the potential terror module busted by the Bihar police. TMC MP Johar Sikar has written to Union Minister Hardeep Singh Puri regarding the makeover of Ashok Stam. Sarkar urged the minister to undertake computerized checks to rectify distortions in the national emblem that is perched atop the new parliament building. He also goes on to say that the national emblem is not an area where human error or artistic license should be permitted. After Prime Minister Narendra Modi's ravery culture jibe, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal hit out at the Prime Minister. Kejriwal said that giving free education and treatment to the people is not distributing freebies. It is an act of virtue and it is called laying the foundation for the future generation of the country. Mujhpar aarop lagaye ja rahe hain ki Kejriwal free ki revdiya baat raha hai. Kejriwal freebies de raha hai. Main logon se puchna chahta hu ki kya main free ki revdiya baat raha hu ya desh ki neev rakh raha hu. अगर मैं इन बच्चों को अच्छी शानदार शिक्षा दे रहा हूं लेकिन फ्री में दे रहा हूं तो मैं क्या गुनाह कर रहा हूं The Gujarat Special Investigation Team has made a massive claim that Tisa Setalwad received a Padma award for her attempts to conspire against the then Modi government The SIT has been investigating Setalwad on charges of fabrication out of evidence and conspiracy linked to the 2002 riots after the Gujarat SIT's shocking revelations about the Tista Setalwad, BJP spokesperson Sambit Patra took a jibe at Congress and its leader Sonia Gandhi. He said that the, that Tista Setalwad was working to destroy the Gujarat government and wanted to defame the entire state. He also said that Sonia Gandhi, through Ahmed Patel, tried to destroy the Prime Minister.
अहमद पटेल जी के माध्यम से सोनिया जी ने नरेंद्र मोदी जी को घेरने की चेष्टा की उन्हें अपमानित और उन्हें किस प्रकार से निष्कासित किया जाए इसकी चेष्टा की और ये पूरे षड्यंत्र की रचेता सोनिया गांधी है तीस लाख का पहला किस्त सोनिया गांधी जी ने तीसता शीतल वार्ड को दिया अहमद पटेल जी हमारे बीच में नहीं है अहमद पटेल जी ने तो केवल डिलीवर किया Now, after Sambit Patra slammed the Congress, Congress leader Pavan Khera countered that the BJP stoked a controversy because elections are approaching in Gujarat. He also alleged that the SIT chief, who had given a clean chit to then Chief Minister Modi, was awarded. He was made ambassador after years of retirement. जब भी गुजरात का चुनाव आता है, भारतीय जनता पार्टी, नरेंद्र मोदी जी और उनका जो इकोसिस्टम है. वो नए नए थ्योरी सामने लाते हैं हर बार गुजरात चुनाव जब आता है तो कभी अंसारी जी का नाम लेकर शुरू हो जाएंगे कभी स्वर्गीय अहमद पटेल जी का नाम लेकर शुरू हो जाएंगे हर बार चुनाव आता है तो आप कभी किसी मुस्लिम नेता का नाम जरूर लाएंगे कांग्रेस पार्टी इस तरह की राजनीति में विश्वास नहीं रखती A day after Lucknow's Lulu Mall controversy, another video of a man offering namaz has emerged, where he can be seen performing namaz on platform number three of the Chabag District Station in Lucknow. The video has been doing rounds on social media since then. Members of the All India Hindu Mahasabha have protested and registered a complaint about the same. Station पे जिस प्रकार से वहाँ पर सो वहाँ पर नमाज पढ़ी गई जिसका वीडियो वायरल हुआ है. तो उसको लेकर हमारा ये कहना है कि उनको पकड़ा जाए चिन्हित किया जाए उसके अलावा वहाँ पर जो मजार बनी है मजार की आड़ में बांग्लादेशी घुसपैठियों का पनाह घा बन गई है वो मजार और रेलवे का आर्थिक नुकसान भी हो रहा है ये जल्द से जल्द इस पर कार्रवाई करें A rearing operation of silkworms is in full swing to increase cocoon production and boost seri culture sector in the valley. Kashmiri cocoons are always in good demand in different states of the country, and apart from cocoons, authorities are also trying to boost the mulberry fruit crop production as well. Silkworm rearing, first part, first part, which is rearing, is our seed. We do incubation. इंक्यूबेशन एक प्रियार्टी है क्योंकि सीड जो होता है उसके लिए गर्मी चाहिए रेरिंग सबसे पहले हमें कुकून बनाना है कुकून अच्छा होना चाहिए उसके लिए हमें पता लाना है जो पता है ना वो अच्छा होना चाहिए वो डिजीज नहीं होनी चाहिए पैदार हुआर होनी चाहिए इसको खास ख्याल रखनी चाहिए Former Tamil Nadu Chief Minister O Paneer Selvam, who tested positive for COVID yesterday, has now been admitted to a private hospital in Chennai for further treatment. Chennai's Napier Bridge painted like was painted like a chessboard ahead of the Olympiad. The 44th FIDE Chess Olympiad is set to start on the 28th of July in Chennai's Mahabalipuram. Ahead of that, a video from the city's Napier Bridge, painted like a chessboard, has gone viral on social media. India and Indonesia have signed an MOU on the sidelines of the G20 meeting to cooperate on a number of issues including payment systems and to combat terror financing as well. The MOU will be implemented through policy dialogue and joint work. The annual Ladakh Polo Festival which began on the 11th of July will be concluded today. Teams from all over Ladakh participated in this week-long festival. Cultural programs, traditional Ladakh cuisine, archery competitions and many other activities were also a part of the festival. Now while the Sri Lankan parliament gets ready to hold presidential polls on the 20th of July, the economic crisis continues. People continue to stand in long queues waiting for fuel and other commodities including food and medication as well. Meanwhile, in order to ensure law and order, the Sri Lankan army is patrolling the streets. Now remember, Ranil Wickremesinghe, the Sri Lanka's leader of opposition Sajid Premadasa and Sri Lankan MP Peruma are all in the fray for the presidential polls. It's day 99 of the protests here at the Gaul Face and protests still continue because they demand the resignation of Ranil Vikramasinghe who is now the acting president and is also uh, one of the nominees of the ruling party and that's why protests at the Gaul Face continue. The voting 
for the president's post is scheduled for the 20th. Uh, do you think Ranil could be made the permanent president because the ruling party is now supporting him for the president's post? Yeah, he's being supported, but uh, the public they don't want him. None of most of Sri Lanka doesn't want him because we have we have been there from day one. We have supported him. We have seen this regime over and over again, and we have also seen him fail over and over again. So that is not we need. What what we need is good governance with minimum corruption. Sri Lankan cricketer Chamika Karuna Ratne had to wait in a long queue at the fuel station to fill up his car after two days. A young cricketer who made his international debut in 2019 is now upset by the recent crisis in the country. He said that due to the current situation in the island nation, he is missing out on his practices. The last uh, two uh, two days, I didn't uh, went anywhere else. I just was in the queue for two days, and I just got my fuel, and uh, so struggling at the time. Right? right now so even if we got we only got for like 10000 rupees and uh, that's only for like two to maximum two to three days i think the people are like uh, saying that the fuel is not coming for another two th two one one week i guess, i think wildfires are raging in parts of france and spain forcing thousands to flee from their homes as blistering summer temperatures put authorities on alert in many parts of europe the nearly week-long heat wave has caused 360 heat-related deaths, according to figures from the Carlo III Health Institute. In Britain, the national weather forecaster has issued its first red extreme heat warning for parts of England on Monday and Tuesday. Commuters in London have been advised not to use the city's transport network unless for essential journeys amid a sweltering heat wave across Western Europe. The UK Meta Office has issued an extreme heat warning from Sunday through Tuesday as temperatures will likely surpass the country's 2019 record temperature of 38.7 degrees Celsius. <coughs> the five conservative contenders vying to be Britain's next prime minister will clash in a second televised debate on Sunday with no clear candidate to succeed Boris Johnson who stepped down after a series of scandals the battle to be the next leader remains unpredictable exposing rifts in the ruling conservative party at least 6 people are dead in the united states's montana after a wind storm caused 21 vehicles to crash together on the highway the storm's heavy winds and zero visibility are believed to have contributed to the crash and the montana highway patrol is investigating the incident and is expected to release more information soon United States President Joe Biden, who is on a visit to the Middle East, told Arab leaders that the United States would remain an active partner in the Middle East, but he failed to secure commitments on oil and security commitments, including in Israel, to combat Iranian threats. Saudi citizens will soon be able to obtain 10-year <coughs> <ten -year coughs> visitor visas in an agreement during the United States President Joe Biden visit to Saudi Arabia. Under the agreement, the validity of visitor visas for Saudi citizens extends from five years to a decade as of August 1st. Biden is on a two-day visit to Saudi Arabia that began on Friday with a meeting with King Salman.